Tonight, protests broke out at the state house ahead of Tuesday's primary. It's expected to be a close race with the abortion amendment on the ballot. Kansas Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung is speaking with abortion rights advocates. They're hoping to sway voters come election day. Well, the turnout at this rally was high. These groups are urging people to vote no on the constitutional amendment, but the numbers are showing that come election day, the margins on this abortion vote could be close. Abortion rights groups are out in full swing. It's a woman's choice to have an abortion or not. Vote no. That's all I have to say is to vote no. They're protesting the constitutional amendment on the ballot. If the amendment passes, it would give Kansas lawmakers the power to pass new regulations on abortion. But some worry how far the state's legislature could go. We have strict laws about it now. So to me, all they want to do is have control. Meanwhile, supporters of the amendment are urging voters to vote yes. It's critical for folks to vote yes to get our voice back and be able to have a say in this public policy issue. Our legislation cannot pass anything without the citizens of Kansas's approval. It boils down to. Each side is hoping to sway voters before Election Day. A poll released by Coefficient, a research firm in Kansas City, shows that the abortion vote could be close. 47 percent of more than 1,500 voters sampled showed support for the amendment, while 43 percent were against it. Another 10 percent were undecided. I think getting the word out and more information about all of this will probably get some people to come to our side. Our goal is to be a powerful voice and get the word out. Now the turnout for the primary election is also expected to be higher than previous years. The Secretary of State's office is predicting 36 percent of Kansas voters will vote in this year's election. For now reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.